Hey everybody, Accurate here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper Challenge. 500 day challenge series. Part 31. Eat soon. Take a look here and see where we're at. 53 days in. Thereabouts. Alright. So, um... How are we doing on water here? We're pretty good with water. Got the Reshi T's ready to rock and roll. So, I got a list of things to do here while we, uh... Recover our condition over the next day or evening. It's starting to get late here. Um, I do want to get as kind of as tired as possible. Thing is, we're going to get tired as we move around, but uh, need to prepare some rose hips. Might as well do that. Might as well. Uh, we're going to skin that other wolf as well. Sharpen up some blades, refuel the lantern, then prepare the inventory uh, for the trip back to Mystery Lake. Because I think. Uh, with these uh, fish or these wolf pelts, we got one, two. We're gonna have three out there if we include the one that's out there, still on the wolf next to the fishing hut. Um, and then we should have one, one or two back at Mystery Lake, I believe. So we should be able to make a wolf jacket as well. A couple more deer hides. We're gonna haul all this stuff back. I'll take the simple or the quality tools back too, back to the uh, cabin and. Uh, Mystery Lake Cabin, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, craft all those from inside of there. But uh, the main thing's when we get in this uh, bear bedroll going. So that's where we're at right about now. All right, ten of those, but we've got a bunch of a bunch of meat outside we can eat. Um, I am just going to go ahead and eat some uh, cooked meat here. Make sure it's the cooked stuff. This is all raw. Got some potatoes. Let's run back over here real quick right quick might do some bit uh beach coming just for the uh fish over there i was thinking about that apparently the fish have uh no we don't want that one all these are all raw i don't want to get in trouble again these are cooked okay let's head on back oh excuse me got a little tickle in my throat Tomorrow, transition from uh, Starlink to fiber. They finally laid fiber out here in the country. <laughs> um, so it took about two and a half years, three years, since I moved in, basically. I went from an area where um, we were in a plat and we had uh, cable internet. Now we have fiber out here. They just laid it, and I was on the waiting list for a long time. So tomorrow at noon... We're going to get that up and running, so um, that should help with production as far as production times. Getting out videos a lot faster, rather than having to rely on uh, Starlink's slower ups upload speed, which is what, you know, it that's what takes the longest for a drink right now. uploading videos to uh, YouTube. So it takes several hours. So I'm interested to see how that works. All right, so a lot of food here. I'm just going to go ahead and eat a little bit while we're here. Make sure I'm eating cooked this time. There we go. Alright, wonderful. And we'll have ourselves a little drink of water while we're at it. We should be feeling pretty comfortable at this point. So, alright. Well, let's prepare some rose hips while we're waiting for my Stamina to decrease. Uh, that's not the one I want. That's the one I want. How many can we do? Just one? Uh, okay, well. Let's do that. I think I have some in the uh, container underneath the bed. So, we'll grab that. But, uh, we'll be able to make rose hip tea for a vitamin C bo uh, boost also. So. Don't want to get... want to get sick because of a lack of vitamin C. Okay, so we're good there. 72. We should be able to do several more of these. How many can we do? Three more. Okay, let's do that. 45 minutes. Wonderful. Okay. Let's see here. I don't want that for coffee. So, 
the little uh, the little sled we can pull behind here. We gotta need four maple saplings cured. That's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of uh, bows down the road. But uh, the one thing I guess this does is it will actually cover up the scent somehow. So you can stack a lot of meat on this and, ca and carry it and drag it around. The only problem is I, I don't think you can go up and down. Um, yeah. It, remember, there's some places that it can't travel. So if you get into an area that's too steep for like uh, ankle sprain risk, I don't think you can actually pull it up there. So it really limits the paths you can take. Um, so if you have to like drop everything and then pick up the meat anyway to get it up a hill and then reassemble it or... or place it back in here I don't know if it's gonna be really worth it I'm pretty good at traveling the way I want to travel and uh, I'm not too worried about the meat that we're leaving behind here because we'll we'll be able to hunt more meat no problem so now that we've done that let's check our blades make sure that they're up to snuff we got 79% there and 81% there so let's go ahead and uh, sharpen these up I need to pull out of here I know we have several of them in here there we go move that over take an extra one of those back with us as well so we're gonna have that available they're not that heavy okay we'll just keep sharpening here as we slowly get more and more tired and the idea is that I can get as much rest as possible I can max out my, my rest time and uh, the thing is though with me only being able to rest this much I think it'll stop there. It means I want to wake up a little earlier. So I'm probably not going to get as much health back as I would like. Oh, God, I didn't hit harvest by accident. So we're at 100% there. Wouldn't mind running out there and harvesting up that wolf real quick either if at all possible so we'll do two more of these I'll not harvest it but skin it that should take us I think it'll take us to 99 right we're getting four yeah, 100% I guess we're getting five per sharpen even better okay let's head on out here we're tired I might do this in the morning yeah, I'll probably do this in the morning. Because I'm already tired, so I'm actually I'm actually losing health right now because I'm so tired. I'm in the red there, so we need to get some sleep is what we need to do here. Oh, no, I didn't mean to eat, but whatever. It's all safe. I meant to hit back, but I accidentally, you know, I was in the circle, but I still had that selected, so you gotta, yeah. Don't do that too much. Okay, it'd be under medicine, right? Yeah, Reshi tea. Nope, that's not what I want. Oh. Where's that? Do I not have any more? Uh... Yeah, it must be in here. It's probably in here. Birch Park tea, that's what I want. Grab a couple of those. That's it. Okay, so... Drink this and then get a drink of water and go to sleep. For, well, we'll try to go for 10 hours, but we'll see how much we get. And then we'll have some medicine in the morning. Our regular dose of uh, antibiotics. Can't forget that. Can't forget about that. Okay, so we're ready. We're ready for bed. Let's do it. And yeah, I can see the HP shooting up real fast there. All right, there we go. We got some of our health back, actually. Yeah, we got the cabin fever risk. But that's okay. We're going to be traveling anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave the cabin. There we go. All right. Let's see where we're at. Negative 25 degrees. Honestly, not too hateful out here. But I think we'll get a move on right now. Where are we at with the cabin fever? 16%. Okay. But at least we're not dying. <laughs> So, have we already skinned this one? Is this the one we skinned? Yeah, we've already skinned this one. Taking all we can out of that one. I'll uh, take that hide. And we'll do it uh, 32 minutes. That'll be fine.
Taking a little health hit but here, but we knew that was coming. So I'll grab a couple more of these. There we go. We're going to fill up our butt bellies before we go, and that'll be pretty much all of our cooked meat. If we ever swing back by through here, we have a bunch of raw meat we can cook up to 50% condition, even if it's sitting there at 0% rancid for 100 days. We can still re re-energize it with uh, condition. Or recondition it. Um, Alright, so we're good there. We'll get another little drink of water here. I'll get my pill in my in my body here. So we're at 9 of 20 doses. Let's go ahead and take our next one, which uh, I think we're on Reshi Tea now at this point. So let's go ahead and drink this. Yep. Use it on our and we should be down to eight. There we go. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. I'll uh, take that last birch bark tea. I'll take all these arrowheads. I'll take all these crow feathers. I might have to drop some gear. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. You will. Pain, pain meds. Sure. Take all these mushrooms. I didn't realize it. Rose hip tea. Take a sewing kit. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of sewing kits. Fishing lure, not too worried about. I can make those pretty much no problem. They're tiny. Th they're almost like 0 .01 grams. So I'll take that, I guess. Take that book. Take an extra one of these. I'm not worried about anything else, honestly. Um, The jerry can would be nice to have. Okay, where are we at now? We're at 34. That's not too bad. Uh, we still need to carry our... Uh, Hides. So I got the I got the wolf on me right now. The wolf hide on me. So I'm just curious how much these are all gonna weigh. They're half a kilogram each. How heavy is this one? That's one kilogram. Okay. And I want to take the tools, birch saplings, maple saplings. Luckily, it's not too bad of a trip for us. Okay, we're heavy. We're heavy. What can I drop? I don't need to be carrying. Let's take a look through here. Uh, don't need these. We can, or, yeah, we can drop that. We can drop about half of those. All this gear is slowing me down. Honestly, I could drop about all of it. I could drop all of it. So, I don't need that many tinder plugs. There we go. We got three of those. Plus three of those. Honestly, that's a bit overkill even there. So, we'll keep... Stop tinder right here with the cattail head. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I want to keep all of that. Am I carrying any unnecessary things like leather shoes or something? Nope. I got all this meat I'm going to eat. So that, that will free up a lot. Uh, let me see if I can eat all of this right now. Might be able to. Well, this is 960. I didn't realize they were all... Or, well, that I didn't realize there was a big one in there. I might not be able to eat all of it, but... We'll do the best we can. We're gonna complete it, completely fill up here before we head out. Nah, we're gonna have a few extra pieces left over here. That's a big one. That's another big one. Oh. All right. Well, we filled up on meat. Have another drink of water here, and then I'll grab a couple waters outside, or wherever I have them stored. I have them some stored somewhere in here. Maple saplings here. <gasps> Uh, cured guts. How heavy are these? Not too heavy. Grab four of those. And these cured leathers. Those are always good to have. Grab the skin pelts. How are we doing now? Am I right back up to where I was? Nope. We're still, we're under. But I'm going to drop these other pieces of meat. Um, when I come back through, these are going to be too far gone for me to eat. So I'm just going to throw these in this container so that they disappear forever, and I don't have to worry about accidentally eating them and getting sick. So, we'll do that. Um, these don't put off any scent. Neither do the hides, so we're safe there. We've got a lot of cloth. Probably don't need that many cloth. Oh, yeah, I'll drop like... Uh, now we're down to 32. That's not bad. Okay. I think we're at a pretty good traveling weight. I do want to, uh, I guess I'll take all the lantern fuel. It's always good to have that. 
Okay, let me let me get into the lantern here. What was that right here? Uh, actions. Refuel that bad boy. Oh, we're already filled up. Okay, well we're just taking that as backup fuel. Am I carrying anything extra that I don't want? These are maple saplings, green maple saplings, cured birch saplings. We need all of those. I got all of the arrowheads out of here. I got all of the feathers. Got all of the pelts and hides and stuff. I think we're ready to get moving here. So let me rest here for an hour. That way I get my... I warm up my body to the max and I get my energy back up to the max. Um, this shouldn't be that big of a deal. And then we can do one sweep through here while it's light so I don't leave anything behind. Without, without realizing it. Um, oh, it looks good. Do I have... If I read these, I haven't read these yet. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, I got a lot of these to read. Wilderness Kitchen. Yeah, because I haven't been able to read these because I've been sick. Oh my gosh. Does that put me way over again? Not too bad. Not too bad. This one? I haven't read that one either. Okay, so we got all these books we're taking back. We're, we're walking back with basically a library of books. <laughs> and this one? That one's done, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's head on. Let's head on out. I think it's time to go. Yeah, I think I'll skip the beach coming. I can always go fishing. Let's grab one water. A oh, liter of water. That's good. We can always make more water if we have to. But uh, let's just start our trek back. I think I might just cut up. I might just cut up over the hill here. Well, yeah, you know, I'll stick to the road I'm used to. No, we'll go this way. No, we're going this way because of the wind. I'm basically deciding not to go straight into the wind. That's the only reason. At this point, I think I can, if I can get close enough to the side of the road, I can be protected from the wind. There we go. It won't matter here in a couple minutes anyway, or a couple seconds anyway. We're going to be taking cold damage, no matter how cold it is. So it won't matter. There's a wolf over there to the left, uh, but he should stay out there on the water. So I'm too worried about him at the moment. Um, we will go ahead and get our flare out just in case. Just in case. Be ready to run, obviously. Yeah, he's, I think he's turned back. He, or he's, he's, yeah, he's turning back now to head back out, out the other way, out the sea. so cold in my life. No, he's continuing on this way. Okay, that's fine. We have a car up here we can run to if we need to for uh, protection from him. If he decides to ping us. I don't think we have anything stinky on us. We ate everything, didn't we? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wonder if I ate a partial one. I've never tried to eat a partial cattail. I think that might be the first of like a 60% cattail. Yeah, that's all that's in there. I just wanted to check my inventory, make sure I wasn't carrying around any actual pieces of wood. Or, uh, what, what am I talking about? Meat. Oh, meat. So now we'll go that way. Unfortunately, it looks like it's in the wind, but it's alright. I've checked this, haven't I? I've got to have checked this, right? Oh, I've never checked this one. Somehow I completely missed this car. Well, let's go in here. Let's see. Yeah. We've got a note left behind. Okay, so that's a backer note. I'll let you guys read that if you want to. Pick it up. Yeah, there we go. Scrawl message. Survival hint. Meet me at my boat tomorrow. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> we have a cache here. A memento cache. Uh, it's, I think that's back where we were. Coastal house. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm not going back now. Uh, if we revisit this area, we'll, we'll check it out if I can remember to do that, but I'm not that worried about it. I'm trying to figure out what that is. 
Oh, that's just a, a tree that's down. It just looks like it's standing up. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, at least the wind's slowed down for us. It's still negative 31 degrees. <laughs> so, it's cold. It's cold, cold, cold. Alright, we'll duck down here. Just so we're not on the sprain risk area. And we're going to duck into this cabin up here. Already getting tired. We might snooze for a while in the uh, in the cabin since we're getting tired. We'll get our energy back a little bit here, and uh, we have once we get our warmed up, we'll start recovering health again. Um, yeah, it should be good. How's cabin fever doing? Ten percent now. Stomach. It hurts. That's okay. Oh, it hurts. Been going on for 20 days almost. Well, what is it now? Uh, 12 days? Yeah. So. This is just, it's the most annoying thing to get. It might be worse than broken ribs. I don't know. Broken ribs is pretty bad. It's been a long time since I've had those. Been trampled by a moose. There's the bear cave. He might have, uh, respawn by now. I'm sure he has. So, I'm just keeping an eye out for him. If we were really curious and I wanted to waste time, uh, go up and look for tracks coming out of the cave. But, uh, not that interested. Yeah, there's some cattail stocks down there that I'm going to go ahead and leave. Again, not that interested. We'll put a little pep in our step here. All right. <laughs> No wind, basically, to speak of, and we're in a protected area, and it's still negative 20 degrees. Yeah, coastal. Coastal be cold sometimes. More cattails. We'll leave them. Maybe next time I come through, I'll be desperate for cattails. Never know. Be glad that they're there. Okay. So I should be able to, yeah, should be able to hop, hop my way down here. There we go. There we go. All right. A little picnic area. Another cattail. I'll grab this one. It's right on the way. No, oh, I missed this one. Resupply the partial one that I ate. <laughs> Alright, we'll go up here to the house that's up here. And uh, get our... Get warmed back up a little bit. It wouldn't be so bad if... We actually started with like 100% health and it wasn't like 60%, you know. That's what really does you in. I mean, I did, made it about halfway across this map and already hurting pretty bad. I saw a deer down there, did I? Actually, no. I haven't searched this one yet. Oops. Okay. Let's work it though. Need to grow feathers. Alright, let's go. A little sanctuary. We'll take it. Use this little, use this little cabin all the time, all the time, folks. Cedar limb. All right, let's get inside. Let's warm up because that's what's really hurting us right there. The cold will get you real fast in this game. All right. So we're uh, we're warming up and we'll stop taking damage right now actually. 
so um pretty tired uh, I got plenty of food on board oh I got a 93 percent or so <laughs> uh, that one's going to uh, take up a spot until I have 10 of them at 98 percent is that what that's saying wait oh 98 calories yeah okay so I have a partial one in there I wonder if I eat that can I find it let's see here I just want to eat the one that's at 90. I just want to eat the one. Let me eat the rest of this one right here. Should be good now. They're all at 100%, but this one's stacked separately. So this is going to be forever stacked. I'll eat this one first next time so that we have just one stack. And it's not taking up two spots on, on the radio menu. All right. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and rest here and uh, heal up a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm going to use the tea because I'm not, like, dying at this. I'm not at that point. But uh, we'll get a drink. Yeah, I'm not going to use the birch tea. I'm going to save that. Uh, which is probably not that hard to come across some birch tea. Eh, yeah, let's go ahead and use... Let's use the birch tea. Do I have more? I got, I got more than one. Okay, so let's do that. I'm not thirsty. I can't drink it now. Oh. Uh, all right, no big deal. We'll just rest. I should have drank it first. Let's sleep for about six hours. I don't think we're going to sleep that long, but we can try. See what happens. There we go. Got a little bit of health back there. Let's head on out. Hopefully it's only like negative 12 degrees. Something. Plus. Oh, negative 13 degrees. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's partially foggy, but I think maybe that's the reason why it's... I hear the crows. Is that a... Yeah, there's a deer walking around out there. Down by the frozen... Creek. No time to... Screw around sightseeing, though. Still gotta keep, keep moving, because... As you can see, the... Cold does... Be going fast on here. I can't really run, either, because... It really drains my... My energy on the bottom left pretty quick. You can see if I run it, it goes three three times as fast. I don't have like a lot of energy. I get I get tired really fast. Need to lie down and get asleep and where we're heading uh, it's a safe zone. Uh, ravine's super safe to travel on. There's no predators on it. But there's nowhere for me to sleep because I don't have that I don't have a uh, bedroll yet. Bedroll is one of those things you gotta have in order to really have ultimate flexibility in this game. I got I got a cattail stuck down here. I'm gonna go get as well. I hear a wolf over there somewhere, but we're gonna go get this cattail stock nonetheless. And I want to drop that. Okay, let's head on up here. There we go. The only reason I ran right there is I just in case that wolf started coming our way. I didn't want him to get close enough to uh, come after me from behind those uh, rocks. I mean, I got a flare, and we're really close to the transition zone, so he's not going to follow us in there. But uh, I'd prefer to avoid the contact if at all possible. All right. Well, we're out of... Uh, coastal heading back to hopefully better weather at mystery lake but i can't really complain right now i think if 13 degrees isn't too bad it's definitely doable could collect some wood along the way and if if the sun comes out we could always start a fire warm up by it but uh, i don't know if we're gonna have enough uh to actually heat up i left the coal behind That's okay, because we can always grab coal from various locations. Um, we can always go to uh, Milton, hit and grab coal there. Hopefully it had respawned by now. And then also uh, in Milton, we can go through the transition cave some place to, escape this cold. to Hushed River Valley. And I think I left a bunch of coal at the mouth of that cave too. Plus it should be respawning as well, so... 
we should have a lot of coal in that immediate area if we need to run and make a coal run, you know, um, for hot fires. But, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. We should be able to get into the trailers next to the Carter Hydro Dam without too much drama. And, uh, our health is pretty good. All things considered. Alright, I'm gonna... I kind of want to run, but I kind of don't want to run at the same time. I guess slow and steady is the way to go, so we'll just, we'll just do it this way. I know, man. I hear you. I hear you. Maybe 14. I think if I go into this cave over here, I might be able to warm up just by the cave. Internal cave temperature, because it's not crazy cold outside. So we might be able just to hang there and pass time for until I warm back up again which would be great great to reset that my temperature alright let's move a little faster this is dragging on a bit here rather I guess I'd rather take a condition hit due to fatigue than temperature because one of them's two two uh, health points per hour the other one's 20 <laughs> the temperature's 20 per hour so yeah this isn't the cave I was talking about by the way this one just stays cold all the time it's like a little wind tunnel in here I'm guessing it's open on both ends and nothing really good happens here but uh don't ever, don't like seek cover here, um, unless you have to, I guess. And I guess to keep it from you know, fire from blowing out, um, but there are better options, relatively close by. So we're gonna go to one right now. Is this coal? This is all stones. Eh, the, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. More stones. Just looking to see if I missed any coal around here. It's possible. As long as you get lucky. I'm not going to go all the way over there for that stick. If you stick in front of me, I'll grab it, but otherwise, no. So there's a cave over here to the right. We've been to it a few times already, or at least a couple times. We're going to go check it out. Haven't been down at the bottom of the rope yet. We might do that as an adventure once we get geared up and that way if we get stuck down there we can always sleep in a bed bare bedroll but my number one priority right now is to get to mystery lake camp office and start building this bare bedroll and uh go from there that will be okay All right, let's duck back in here. Let's see how things are for us if we get in here. Hey, there's some birch bark. We will grab that for some birch tea. Always good to have stick. Any more sticks? Probably some more. Somewhere around here, probably. There's some rabbits. There's some sticks. Cool. All right. Let's head in here. We got here. I'll oh, burn out torch. <laughs> All right, more birch bark and a stick. Lots of birch bark, so we're gonna get some good tea real soon. All right, let's get inside of here. Did I leave anything in here for us? Probably not. Probably too greedy to do that. <laughs> a bunch of burned out torches. All right, so we're back. Okay, we're at 14 degrees. So we cross that little imaginary transition area of the temperature, and we're just going to sit here and relax and warm up, because this is actually a warm area. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Hey, we got rid of the cabin fever. My guy suddenly doesn't mind. He, he, the idea of going inside of a place doesn't seem to bother him right now, for Will. So I'm not sure why. Interesting. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Yeah, don't do that, because we have hypothermia risk right now. But that's okay. We're we're warming up. It should disappear very soon. So, all right. So we're just gonna hang here and um, 
What can I do here? Let me take a look. I can I can bust up some uh birch bark. Prepare some more of that. Yeah, let's do that. Two more of those. It's a slow go right here for our warming up process, but we'll do some more mushrooms too. Make good use of the time. Yeah, I'm thirsty again, so get something to drink here. There we go. There we go. Much better. Starting to get tired now, but uh, at least we're warming up. All right, what else can I make? What else can I make? I don't want to make those. How are we doing our clothing? I'm just curious. Uh, still missing some an extra pair of underwear. Yeah, but not too bad. We're doing all right. We need to get some. The rabbit's coming in here? That's the first time I've ever seen a rabbit coming in here. I've never seen this before. I feel like that's a sign. Is he going to go through the wall and disappear? Nope. Apparently it's just part of his... He doesn't seem bothered by me at all. That's... different. What if I move? Stand up and move. I need to find a place to rest. Can I pick him up? I thought maybe I could just pick him up straight from here. All right, now yeah, I need to get back here and get warmed up. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. So I'm not gonna go out there that far. Still need to spend a little bit more time in here before I go chasing the rabbits. Yeah, no, there's nothing really that I can build at this point. So I think we're pretty good shape here. Could drink coffee, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna be okay because we're gonna be nice and tired and uh, ready for bed by the time we get to the, the trailer. And we'll have enough water to make it through the night. Plus, I'll, I'll drink my birch bark first this time. I promise. Yeah, this is a he's a smart rabbit. He likes the uh, he likes the uh, inside of the. Okay, there we go. Now we're warmed up fully. Let's go ahead and make a move. Let's go ahead and make a move. I don't think I'll be able to run much longer, so. Might drink some coffee before we, uh, poke our head out at the, uh, yeah, I don't know. We should be okay. Even if there's a wolf right there, we should be fine. I was going to say at the, uh, trailers next to the Hydra Dam. Because that's where I plan on stay, uh, sleeping, so that trailer there. The very first one on the left. Tired fast these days. Of course, the timing's really good for getting a good night's rest, but that's okay. I wish this wasn't broken. I could just go straight across. It'd be a lot easier than having the zigzag around here. But, uh, oh well, it is what it is. It'd be nice to no longer be completely smoked at the end of every day. Sounds like bad weather's coming in too, so we're gonna have to deal with that. We're gonna have to deal with that. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I must have went the wrong way. What the heck's going on here? There we go. Whatever. My fingers feel numb. It wasn't letting me step up there for some reason. That's okay. We figured it out. Let's get. A around here before I start to feel drunk. <laughs> We're not quite there yet, but I might be stumbling into camp a little bit. I'm going to go into this cave and warm up, though. I'm not going to die. Don't worry. All right, let's 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 push a little bit quicker here so I can get inside the, uh, the building here. Or not the building, but the cave. This cave should warm us up. There we go. Energy is just disappearing. Yeah, so my energy's low. That's that's the reason why I'm having issues here. I'm gonna go ahead and drink that coffee while I'm at it. Um, let's see here. Have that coffee. That'll give us a little extra boost. There we go. Or not. 
Yeah, fatigue reduced. So I guess once you're smoked, it doesn't matter. I'm so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Yeah, you're gonna be okay because I'm gonna warm up here in a second, and then we should be okay. the end part of the sickness. Part of me says just push on through, but I think uh, with as cold as it is, that's probably not the best idea. Uh, I'd rather just uh, take the 2% two per, two per hour uh, hit, which is, it's not going to be 2% for me to wait to warm up. It's going to be, well, be about maybe 3%. Probably take me about half an hour and a half to, to warm up in this cave here. Um, so, let's just get inside this cave here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we should be good. 15 degrees out here, it's going to shoot back up to about 13, 14 degrees in the positive. As soon as we cross, there it is, there it is. Yeah, we're at 12 degrees, so we're warming back up again, which is fine. Let's go ahead and uh, just pass time here. Okay, let's do an hour. Okay. I need a horse. So I'm just going to walk out slowly here. And uh, I, could, I could stay here for. Let's let's warm up fully. Let's do that. Seems like the smarter play. There we go. All right, wonderful. Could could hit an emergency stim as well. I don't think we're quite in that zone. If I start getting dizzy, I would. But really, there's no risk to walking this route right here. Um, basically, I walk out, make a left, go through transition zone. Walk a few a feet, right and we're we're at our uh, we're at our bed for the night. So drink another coffee and um, get my running back if I wanted to, but it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. Where are we at now? Negative 19 degrees. It's not that bad. It's it's not great, but it's not that bad either. So we should be able to... We'll probably just start freezing when we get to the door. Low deer. Show off. We're just living outside all the time. Thriving. Great place to get, place to come deer hunting though. Poor Will. Things will do. I really wanted to do all my crafting out there, but man, that that weather was just too much. It is what it is. Oh, piece of coal. We'll take that. We'll take that piece of coal. Love the coal. Burn so hot. Eh, come on, transition zone. Just a trail of torches. We'll drink another tea before we go to bed, obviously. And we'll have uh, a few cattail stocks so that we can... Uh... There's our trailers. Too cold right there. To think. A few, few cattail stocks and uh, get a good night's rest here. We got water to drink and the tea 
We'll add some calories and hydration at the same time. So we should be good. Owls are everywhere. Yeah, nice night, though. This would be a normally pretty nice night, 19 degrees, or negative 19 degrees. But, uh, hey, we made it. Okay, so here we go. Let me stumble over to a bed here. Um, let me think here. I'll eat some cattail stocks. Let me eat that one by itself first. And we need about 700 calories, so that's what we're going to shoot for here. There we go. All right. So where are we at? 736 calories. Perfect. And then we'll have a little bit of a uh, birch bark tea to get our healing bonus while we sleep. And then we will drink last little bit of water here. Well, not, we're still going to have a little bit left. Maybe a quarter. No. Um, 0.4 liters. Almost half a liter. Time to get some good rest. There, there we go. Health is shooting back up again. Yeah, we should be feeling much better when we wake up. Oh, yes. Much better. Hydrate here a little bit. Yeah, I'll probably use their last of the water there. Yeah, didn't quite get it all. 54 days, 2 so hours life. and change. So, I'm ready to head out here. Um, recycle cans. I don't think I need those. Okay, let's take a look out here. See if we can make it back to camp office. Yeah, yeah the wind's going our direction. We're going to go for it. You know, no time like the present. Especially with the wind in our back. Let's go make a run for it. Because when we get there, we can always sleep if we need to. Already, I, I just woke up and I'm literally yawning. <laughs> Look at how fast uh, the cold is hitting me. That's crazy. That's crazy. Patrol wolves out. Get a little high ground here so we can see a little bit better. Oh, okay. Thing is, I get I get um, tired so fast. I, I basically can't run once I get that tired. Oh, the winds changed directions. That was quick. Completely changed directions. Not sure why I went up that way. It's kind of dumb. Yeah. I think once we get into this mountain, we're going to be pretty well protected from the wind. So, should be able to walk at a normal pace. There we go. It feels like negative 25, so it's like a heat wave back here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew that was going to happen at least once. I knew it. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, eat some pain meds here on my sprained ankle. Come on. There we go. Come on. Yeah, you know what? Might as well, before I forget, we we'll have a reshi tea on our uh, intestinal parasites. Yeah. Drink that real quick. It'll help hydrate us a little bit, too. And I need to wrap it. Uh, yeah, so let's wrap. Oh, I didn't use it on the pain. I used it on the wrong thing. Yeah, that's okay. I meant to use that on... Okay, I'm not worried about the pain. It's a very minimal effect. It's a little bit of a 
a blurriness on the edge of the screen. That's all that is. I think it maybe messes with your hearing a little. You hear that sort of underwater kind of occasional effect with the hearing. I think that might be from the pain. But uh, it is what it is. I use bandages on those when I have to. Uh, I'm just to get my movement back. <laughs> Why do I even bother? That's crazy. It's been this way for years and years and years. Alright. Well, I'm just going to stumble my way there, I guess. I don't know. Am I out of freaking bandages at this point? Probably. Uh, got some cloth. Could make a bandage out of it. Let's just do this real quick here. I'll probably end up My using... Oh, it hurts. Oh. oh it hurts. Here we go here. Can't even get to my bandage in the inventory. I have to go through this one. There we go. Alright, we got our movement back. Took me ten minutes to get that, but... We got it back. Gotta eat soon. Get behind these trees if I can. What if I get behind these trees? This group of trees, if this will help. Because it's like a solid group of trees. You think that would block some of the wind, but apparently it doesn't really. Well, so much for traveling with the wind at our back. It didn't last very long. See, I'm already getting tired again. Not even noon yet. We just need to rest and recover here best we can. Couple, couple three wolves are probably down there. Yeah. Hanging around the tracks as usual. Yeah, that's, that sounds really weird when you have the pain injury going on. And the wind just go away? I think it just, I think it just stopped. Well, I'm going to need to rest soon. It's a sunny day. We could get a free fire, but... See that too often. We got another full week of dealing with this stupid intestinal parasite stuff. Seven more days. That's okay. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Boy, I'm going to feel like a whole new, whole new man by the time we get done with this, though. Just annoying having to constantly progressively get more and more bothered by it, you know. There's our camp office. We made it. Yay, let's run down the hill and break our, our ankle or our wrist or something. Let's just do that. That seems like a great idea. If memory serves, we got some food out here anyway. What was that the predator? Oh, the ptarmigans. I'm gonna mess with you guys right now. Well, this is a shitty way to die. Stop saying that. You're fine. There's a wolf out there on the uh, ice. 
That's cool. I thought I had some meat here. Maybe I don't. Yeah, maybe I do. Cooked. It's a zero percent. That seems that seems dangerous. Yeah, we got a bunch of. I'll take the water. Okay, bunch of rose hips. I'll pick up individually before I start the next episode. I won't subject you to all, all that. We got a couple of cured bear hides. A bunch of more rose hips here. All right. Let me drop some of this stuff here. Get rid of this bear hide here. Uh, get rid of these. Drop these wolf pelts right here, I guess. Let's see here. Where are they at? Those are, yeah, there's the cured wolf pelts. One, two, three. All right. Deer hides. I guess they can... Well, I can pick this one up and drop it here as well. There we go. Put the uh, deer hides here. I'm doing good on hides. That's good. Oh, don't drink it all right now, because I do want to drink some tea before I rest, because I'm about to rest. Uh, can I make some... I think I can make some oatmeal, probably. There's another wolf pelt. We'll take that over here. I know I'm taking a little damage, but that's okay. Okay, so that's four wolf pelts. We, we should be able to make the wolf jacket now, too. Okay, we got lots of things. Um, take the oats and um, let me see here. Let's take a look up here. Do I have the skillet up here or something? Yeah, I do. Okay. Non-potable water. I'll worry about that later. Let's get a uh, let's get healed up one more time here. So. Do that. I keep thinking that's a, a hide down there, but it's not. All right, so I need to eat a little bit here. I need to go do some hunting. Next episode, I might go grab a wolf out there on the ice or something like that. Need one more. There we go. All right, so we're at uh, 740 calories, perfect. And then I'll take a nice drink of uh, some uh, birch bark tea. Yep. And we'll get another rest in here, and then we're... There we go. We're getting our restore condition on here. And we're fully hydrated. we got enough calories. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and sleep for... Try to sleep for 10 here, but we won't. We'll wake up early, as usual. Try to hunt a hunt a deer or something like that. All right, cabin fever risk is back again. <laughs> eh, yeah, can't get away from it. All I can We're at ninety three percent or thirty nine thirty nine percent for that. So that's not good. All right, all right, guys, let me step out, step back in. Ooh, it's so pretty out here, but incre but very cold. Not crazy cold, but pretty darn cold. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. So, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I wonder if we checked this one during the uh, Aurora yet. Let's see if we have. Have we checked this one yet? Uh, maybe not. Bear activity around Mystery Lake region is pronounced, though human interaction by all accounts is very rare. This is to be expected this time of year, and based on the available data, we can make uh, the following conclusions. And then they leave us hanging on that cliffhanger. <laughs> so I'll probably make some uh, some oatmeals, I'm guessing. And uh, I'll use acorns and the cooking oil, see what else we can make, and we'll, we'll see if we can fry up some stuff, uh, some, some foods for ourselves, some survival foods. So we got some more maple saplings here, heavy hammer, all this stuff here. And we've read that one. Okay, cool. So. All right, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Y'all take care.